Hey guys, in this video I'm quickly showing you a technique for creating more organic and less grid-oriented grooves. This time we're dealing with hi-hats, but you can apply this technique to every percussion, snare, hat, whatever. So I think it's very useful and yeah, let's start. Okay, first find the right sample. In our case, it is out of the sample pack Deep Premium Volume 2. Duplicate the sample several times. By right clicking on the sample, you have the option to show the fades. Now you can shape the lengths of the sample. Find different lengths and shapes. In order to make the samples even more different from each other, Place effects like EQ or Frequency Shifter on your track and automate certain parameters. If you are satisfied with the result, duplicate the audio track. Now click on Freeze and then flatten the track. All the process you made so far is now rendered and included into the new sample. Now we create a MIDI track and we put a sampler on it, not a simpler. Select all samples and drop them into the sampler. Now click on Zone. You can see all samples are loaded into one group. Assign all samples to different keys, starting with C3 and moving up the scale. Close the window by clicking on Zone. Go to MIDI Effects and apply the Random effect to our track. Activate the Alternative mode, chanced 100%. That means that the Random tool will play each node once before it will loop all over again. But it will always start at C3. With less than 100%, it will play the C3 note more often than the other notes or the other samples. And choices according to the number of samples you loaded in. In our case, four. Now draw a MIDI groove. Stay on grid, but the velocity could vary already. This groove here is quite nice. So let's listen in. If your samples are too long for your current groove, go to Filter in Global and change the envelopes. Go down with the Sustain and now also with the Decay. And listen to it. All right, so let's listen to it in context. As you can hear, we need more groove. So let's go to the groove library. Right click. This time we're going for an MPC groove. We need 16s. So swing 58 is great. Assign the groove to your MIDI track. If you go inside your MIDI track, you can see which groove is applied. Just have a look at the left bottom corner. By clicking on None, you can simply remove the groove. Alright, quantize and time can stay at 100%. But we move up with the random amount to create some mistakes. And increase the velocity as well. Okay, let's listen again. That's a lot better, right? 
Now we could even add another sample with the same groove, maybe a shaker. 